Hello and good morning everyone. Good to have another opportunity of having a quick word with you. We're getting closer to Christmas. The days of Advent are hastening on and before we know it we shall be arriving at Christmas Eve. Advent is a time of waiting. A time when we look forward we anticipate, so I well remember long, long years ago when I was a child, how I used to look forward to Christmas morning and on Christmas morning, I used to go into my mum and dad's room uh, very early in the morning, sit on their bed and start opening my presents. It was a time of joy and of rejoicing. I well remember Every year my dear old dad used to put on the radio and listen to the bells being rung in various parts of the world on Christmas morning, ending up with the bells of the Church of the Nativity in Israel. And all those things come back with great joy. Now Luke's Gospel <coughs> speaks to us of what we might call a glorious dawn or a radiant dawn. You know, there's something very wonderful about the dawn. Not many of us perhaps are up, some yes, but not too many. But I once, and only once in my life, flying on an overnight flight from Vancouver to England, uh, I saw the breaking of day. I saw a most wonderful dawn as we were descending. We had flown over the North Pole and we're now coming in to over northern England. And it was a wonderful sight. These shafts of radiant light that shone across the sky. And this is what we've got here. We've got the radiant dawn, the shining light of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. You know, Mary said, my soul doth magnify the Lord and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. And someone has posed the question and I have thought of it quite a bit. What do I magnify? Do I magnify my privileges, my possessions, my home, my family, all legitimate and all lawful things which God in his abundant mercy has given to us? But do we magnify the Lord? Is he the one who is preeminent in my thinking and in your thinking? Are we oft times day by day meditating on the great things of God. That's what Mary said. My soul doth magnify the Lord. My spirit hath rejoiced in God my Saviour. This glorious radiant dawn that was coming. There had been long years of silence and then we're told of the breaking in on the scene of time of the word and of the hand of God. You know, we're told in the first chapter of Luke's Gospel, we're told there of this virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And that reference to the house of David, which speaks of centuries before the coming of the Lord Jesus tells us that God had been planning this event, this glorious breaking forth of his glory for a long, long time. It wasn't a sudden impulse, but God had been preparing the way over many, many centuries. And so the angel of the Lord came to her and said, Hail thou that art highly favoured, the Lord is with thee, blessed 
art thou among women? Now we we're told earlier about Elizabeth. Elizabeth was a relative of Mary's, but she was well past childbearing age, and her husband also was an old man. But God had appeared and given them a promise that they would have a son, a wonderful deliverance to Elizabeth, who felt the shame of being barren. But she was delivered of a son. They called him John. And we'll continue to think about John, who was so greatly used and so highly favoured as the forerunner of the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, may God bless those simple thoughts for his name's sake. Amen.